Hey there everyone, it's Nina. Thanks for joining me today for a new video. Today I have two cards to share with you using the brand new September 2022 card kit from Simon's Stamp called Let's Celebrate. I have to tell you this kit is full of gorgeous products. I had so much fun making these cards because they're bright, happy, colorful, and the best part is that they didn't take me that long to make. These cards you can make in about 10 minutes or so each. So these are quick and easy cards that you can make for a birthday or other celebration that wouldn't take you very much time and be out the door in no time at all. So I'm gonna start first by making this rainbow card. I was totally entranced by the pattern papers in this kit. I particularly loved this giant rainbow. So I'm gonna cut this down so it's exactly four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm using a Simon's Stamp rectangle die to cut this. And then this way this will fit perfectly on top of a regular A2 size card. Next I'm going to take the groovy happy birthday die that's included in the kit and I'm going to tape both the shadow and also the word die cut itself together. This way I can use these to create a new look for this die. Now you could cut this word die and then glue all the individual letters onto the shadow layer or if you cut it out by taping them together like this, you're going to get what I'm gonna call like an outline of this sentiment. So the letters are cut out of the shadow layer now, and we can use the inner pieces of each of those letters to fill in the letters, so that way it fills it in and it actually completes the whole letter so you don't have just a blob. I thought this would be a really cool way to create a cool sentiment. So I die cut this both from the glitter paper that's included in the kit and also some white cardstock so I can stack these together for a more dimensional greeting. I'm gonna use Simon's Stamp Micro Dot Sheets to attach these down. And you just use these by placing the die cut onto the adhesive and burnishing on top of the release paper to kind of press that adhesive onto your paper. Then after you remove the paper, your piece has glue all over the back side of it so then you can easily adhere all your pieces together. This makes stacking die cuts so simple. So I've stacked these three pieces together, two white cardstock pieces and then the glitter paper, and then I'm just gonna stack that on top of the main shadow layer that I cut all by itself. That sentiment's going to get included onto my rainbow, but I'm gonna pull out the stamp set and use this dot pattern to embellish that rainbow a bit more. I thought by adding a few black dots with that dot pattern that's included in the stamp set, would add some fun elements and almost a confetti-like appearance. It also brings in some movement for the rainbow. I'm gonna enhance that a bit more by adding some sequins. There's some really nice sequins included in this kit. They're the disco ball mix, and I gotta tell you, they are so bright and colorful, and I just loved how they paired up with this rainbow. So they were a perfect combination, and then really enhanced that movement on my rainbow, and that's going to complete the card. It was that simple. It's bright, happy, fun, and a perfect card for anybody's birthday. All right, so now let's move on to using some of the other products included in the kit. I also was entranced by this minted florals embossing folder. Look how detailed and beautiful this is. If there are coordinating dies, they don't come in the kit, but you can purchase them outside of the kit and use them with the embossing folder. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm gonna start by die cutting the Holographic Rainbows cardstock from this die set. Now, I haven't taken apart the dies. I like using them all as one big sheet and it's gonna save a lot of time so I don't have to try to lay each one of these out. But the reason I'm die cutting first is because I want to die cut all the elements and then puzzle piece them into the embossing folder. If you were to try to do emboss first and then die cut, you're going to flatten the embossing. Embossing is not gonna have as much detail as it will when you actually run it through on a die cut that you've pre-cut first and then embossed. So I'm puzzle piecing all these little pieces back into the folder and as you maneuver them around, you'll feel them kind of almost click into place. And then I just hold them down with a bit of tape. I'm using Simon's to stamp very, very low tack tape. It works really well for things like this. And I'll just run this entire embossing folder through my die cut machine to emboss the flowers. And there's a few other plates like this from Simon's to stamp. They have other 3D embossing folders that have coordinating dies and I always recommend anytime you use them to die cut first, then emboss. It makes a total difference. 
So after I've embossed all these holographic rainbow flowers, I also embossed a plain sheet of white cardstock. This is going to be the texture background that we're going to glue all these beautiful die cuts on top of. So now we have that fun minted floral background and I'm matching up the flowers that were coordinating with those exact same flowers that we die cut and I'm also going to layer some extra flowers in other areas around those main elements. To attach all these flowers, I'm using 3D foam squares from Simon Says Stamp. I'm using the thin 3D foam squares for these because it allows me to have a little less bulk on my finished card. And if I decide that I want some flowers to be popped up on top of another flower, then I only technically have one layer of standard foam tape dimension on my card. So this kind of saves a little bit of space when I'm mailing this card. I don't have as much bulk filling up the envelope. And then as I trimmed things off the ends, I was filling things in to kind of complete the whole background. And that also saved on some of the die cuts too. I didn't have to go through and die cut more pieces to fill in. I could just use some of those cut off ends. So now I'm stamping a sentiment from the stamp set with white embossing ink and I'm going to use white embossing powder to sprinkle on top. I'll heat set this and this is on doll pink cardstock which is included in the kit. Once I set the powder, then I used my fine tip scissors to fussy cut the greeting. There are no coordinating dies for the sentiment, but if you did want to cut the greeting out and you didn't want to fussy cut it, you could just use a simple rectangle die to cut this out. So once I have the sentiment cut out, I just use some foam tape to again pop that up on top of my card. And that's going to pretty much wrap things up other than a few of the sequins from the disco ball sequin mix. I just glued a few of those down on top of the centers of the flowers that really finished them off nice and I liked the extra pops of color that that provided. The holographic rainbows cardstock adds so much shine to this card and then when you pair it with the sequins it's almost like everything sparkles without actually having to add any glitter. So that completes the two cards that I made with the Simon Says Stamp September 2022 card kit Let's Celebrate. If you're looking to make birthday cards, this is definitely the kit to check out because I think you're going to be able to create a lot of them with this kit. I hope you were inspired by the cards that I shared today. Be sure to check out the links below in the video description if you're interested in any of the supplies that I used. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I'll be back soon with more to share, but until then, I hope you have a fabulous day. Bye!